Introducing the horses race number four, the Sanford Inns fourth race, second division, third leg of Ohio Sires for three-year-old trotting Colts and Gildings. Racing one mile, a purse $15,000, field of ten, no changes, the one. A base son of Carry the Message, owned by Chip Noble, and Graffin Incorporated of Ohio Chip Noble Trains. Three-year-old record, two weeks ago at Lexington, one fifty-six and one earnings of $64,000, Chip Noble driving, Dan's shadow from post two a chestnut son of Ambro Iliad oh by John Holman of Newark Ohio Ebert Quinn the uh, trainer two-year-old record here at the Cider Downs 201 and four earnings of eleven thousand dollars coming off two qualifiers Eric Ludford driving the two Wild Louie from post three, a son of Overcomer, owned by Willard Miller of Jamestown and Alan Busco of Xenia, Willard Miller Trains. Two-year-old blast at Northfield Park, 205 and four, earnings of $22,000. Willard Miller driving over mystified. From post four, a bay son of Speed in Action, owned by uh, Tom Weber of Stryker and John Zimmerman of Defiance, Jim Daly Trains. A two-year-old record in Grand Circuit Racing here at Cider Downs of two minutes and two. Earnings of $48,000 coming in from Grand Circuit Racing. Hot action for Jim DeLay. From post five, a uh, son of Ambro Elliott, owned by Kevin Greenfield of Perrysburg, Ohio. Jeff Miller trains. Three-year-old mark of one fifty nine at Hoosier Park. Earnings of $14,000 coming in off of a uh, ten and a quarter length win at Hoosier Park. Jay Cross driving Spirit of Troy. The six, a base son of Carry the Message. Owned by Ernie Evans of Bainbridge, Jim Willems, the uh, trainer. Three year old record of 202 and four, earnings of $9,000. Off a win at Circoville and Ohio Fair Sticks. Ron Steck driving, copy the message. From post seven, a base son of Arnie's Exchange. Owned by David Glenny of Stowe and Robert Edens of Hudson, Ohio. Robert Edens, the uh, trainer. Three old record at Northfield Park, 204 and 1, earnings of $30,000. In from Northfield Park, it's Arnie's King and Robert Edens. Number eight is a base son of Overcomer, owned by Les Tyndall of Sunbury, Ohio. He also trains. Three old record right here at the Cider Downs of two minutes, earnings of $11,000. Off a decisive win at Ottawa in Ohio Fair Sticks. Bob Harper driving over, come by smoke. From the outside, number nine, a bay son of Overcomer, owned by the Millers of Archibald, Ohio, and Miller of Lieber in Kentucky, Steve Brennan, the uh, trainer. Two year old bust of two minutes, earnings of $70,000. Jeff Fount driving, spring over. From the trailing position, post number 10, a, a chestnut son of Well Done. Owned by Frank Todd of Delaware and George Hill of Monroeville, Ohio. Frank Todd Jr. trains. Three-year-old record at two minutes and one-fifth. Three starts ago here at Cider Downs. Earnings of $48,000. Frank Todd Jr. driving. Tango T. And that's the field for the second division. Third line of Ohio Sires. Win play show. On the back stretch, approaching the start. And they're off, and it's hot action. First for the lead from the outside, Arnie's King. Getting away second, Dan Shadow from off the rail. Trots third, far outside fourth, spring over. Overcome by Smoke is trotting a fifth. Off stride goes Tango T. Off stride goes Wild Louie. Around the first turn, and it's hot action. Quickly with a three-length lead, Dan Shadow to the inside. It settles in second. Arnie's King at the rail is third. At the rail and fourth, overcome by Smoke. Spring over has settled in fifth. On the rail in sixth, that's over mystified, followed by Spirit of Troy. They're at the first quarter, 29 seconds. Coming to the stretch, and Dan Shadow with a quick move here takes a lead. Dan Shadow now to the front. Hot action on the inside, lets him go second. Arnie's King trots third, overcome by Smoke, flushed first up on the outside. Spring over, pull that cover, and he's followed by Spirit of Troy as they race towards the half. Heavily favored Dan Shadow by two, two and a half lengths. Hot action. The garden spot seat is trotting second. Half and 58 and two as they make the turn to the back stretch. And Dan Shadow with the lead. But here comes over. Come by smoke. Was fifth, fourth, 
third and a second of the outside hot action at the wheel is third spring over is drafting with cover fourth spirit of choice is there trotting a fifth at the wheel and sixth it's arnie's king down the back stretch field tightens up here on dan shadow Overcome by Smoke on the outside, trotting a second. And here comes Spring Over now. Three wide, three quarters, 128 and four. Around the final turn and Dan Shadow. But Spring Over is right there and coming strong. Spring Over at 20 to one. Moving up alongside the leader. Turning for home with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And it's Spring Over who's taking the lead here. Spring Over by four. Dan Shadow to the inside. On the outside, Spirit of Troy closing quickly, but it's Spring Over pulling off a big upset here over Dan Shadow and Spirit of Troy. The mile one, 57 and three. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside, the official winner this afternoon's second division, third leg of Ohio Sires. A 20 to 1 shot from the far outside, number 9, Spring Over. A big gelding signed by Overcomer from the Super Bowl Mare Spring Garden. Home of the Millers of Archibald and Lieburn, Kentucky, Steve Brennan, the trainer. Spring Over was bred by Merle Mullet of the Success Acres in Sunbury. Driven here this afternoon by driver Jeff Fout. Spring Over was the two year old trotting colt of the year in 1995, and this afternoon in his third start of the season, he takes a career mark, 157 and three fifths. Trackside to make the trophy presentation, the assistant general manager of the Ohio Harness Horseman's Association, Mr. Jerry Knappenberger.